Hi everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've already practiced with me before. My name is Beatrice and today's class is a yin class for us to explore self-compassion and self-love. So all you need today is a couple of blocks, yourself, your yoga mat, maybe even just the floor beneath you and come practice with me. So let's start this practice by just coming onto the mat, give ourselves some time and space to experience us as we are right now. So if you want to sit up on a block, we'll start from seated. You don't have to sit cross-legged, you can sit in any way that feels comfortable for you. But if you do sit cross-legged, I suggest propping yourself up onto something so you can lengthen the spine a little bit higher, a little bit straighter and have the knees a little bit further towards the ground. It doesn't have to be like that. You can sit in any other way that's comfortable for you. You can lean against the wall anywhere you want. And then from here, take the hands down onto your lap, your knee or your thighs and begin to tuck, tuck the chin gently towards the chest so the crown of the head points up to the sky. And if it makes you feel comfortable, please close your eyes. Otherwise, if it makes you feel uncomfortable in any way, you can just look forward in front of you and soften the gaze. Whatever you decide to do, just take your time to soften. Soften the face, the jaw, the length of your neck into the shoulders. Down the arms, into the back. Seeing if there's any gripping around the hips. And relaxing down the legs. Take a moment to settle, to arrive to the mat. Begin to notice your breath, in and out the nostrils if possible. If not, just notice. You can breathe through the mouth if your nose is blocked. to feel the movement of your abdomen with a breath. If you don't feel that movement, just check in with your chest and your shoulders. See if they are nice and still. Or if they move, see if you can allow some stillness to arrive and bring the breath down into the belly. You may even bring a hand onto the abdomen As you inhale, filling up the lungs with air, expanding the belly out, moving the hand away from the spine. And as we exhale, taking it back towards the spine. Inhaling to expand. And exhaling to contract. Perhaps beginning to feel the length of your in-breaths and out-breaths. Soft and gentle breath. Already beginning to accept where we are. What our breath is, what we are. 
can let go and let that hand come back down onto your lap or your knees. And just for a moment, think of something that you really appreciate about yourself. And it doesn't have to be anything big. It can be a very simple thing. Maybe you like how you cook or you like a specific meal that you make. Maybe you like a physical quality to yourself, an emotional quality. Maybe you are a good friend, a good sister, a good partner. And take this quality with you throughout this practice. Whenever you're ready, you can float your eyes open, remove the block from under the sitting bones. And keep both blocks to the side. So two blocks, keep them to the side of your mat so you have them ha handy. And begin to come up onto your hands and knees. The first posture is going to be puppy or melting heart posture as we call it in yin. So make sure you have space in front of you. Walk yourself to the back of your mat Keep the hips just above the knees, pointing up to the sky and walk the hands forward. Extend the hands and drop the head down towards the ground. If that doesn't happen, you can bring a block under the forehead. Notice how the arms are feeling. Try not to build any tension anywhere in the body. So in our finding stillness, Let's find some comfort, some ease as well as challenge. So if you need to, you can bend the elbows and soften them down. Maybe you can belt, bend one elbow and bring the hand to the opposite forearm or vice versa. And maybe you can bring the palms together and take them to the back of your head. Scooping the shoulders forward. Allow yourself to soften as much as you can here while feeling the chest opening towards the ground, maybe a mild extension in the spine. Introducing our first affirmation for the first part of our practice. I have the right to be me. I have the right to be me.
Just take two more breaths here. And on your next inhale, slowly and mindfully, walk your hands back towards your shoulders. Take a moment here. If you want to counter pose, take a couple of cat and cows. Drop your belly, open the chest. And exhale to round. And take a moment longer in the rounding in your cat. Inhale, extend your spine. Exhale and round. And on your inhale, come back to your neutral spine and from here, bring the big toes together, knees as wide as you want and sit back towards your heels. If that doesn't happen, take a block under your sitting bones and find that space for your hips, but also for your knees. And walk the hands forward. Again, soft elbows, letting the head rest down to the ground. Allowing these two postures, both melting heart and child's pose, to be places of openness, but with some security security of your back guarding you the ground supporting you and finding that expansion that openness of your chest because you know that you have the right to be yourself
remind yourself to soften not just the big muscles, the muscles in the hips, the back, but also the small muscles in the face and powerful muscles in the jaw. If you need to, you can move the jaw from side to side, give yourself a little bit of ease into the joint. On your next inhale, bring yourself back up to your hands and knees. Uh, for our next posture, make sure you take it at your own pace, at your own sensations and challenge. It can be quite a powerful posture. It can be quite nice and liberating and great for your hips. So if you need to grab a couple of blocks, grab the two blocks, actually take them either side of your mat and we're taking dragon from here. So step your right foot in between the blocks and take your time to get there. If it comes just halfway, that's fine. Just grab that foot and take it in between the blocks. Allow the hips to soften towards the ground and make sure that the back knee is nice and comfortable. If not, you can double up the mat or if you have a pillow or a blanket handy, you can bring um, something soft underneath the knee. If you need to, you can pause the video and just grab something to make the knee comfortable. Allow the hips to soften. Come up onto the blocks and see how you feel here. You can just come up onto the blocks and also take the blocks to the highest height and open the chest to begin with. Let the hips drop. Notice how you're feeling. If this is not enough, take it down one step, maybe on the lower height of the block. And if you want to, you can walk that right foot out to the side and let the foot come onto the outer edge. So we can drop the knee out to the side and open the hips a little bit more. See how it feels here. If you want more, you can come down to the lower height of the block, maybe remove the other one. And if this is still not enough, you can come down to the hands or maybe even all the way to the forearms. Wherever you are, come into a space of challenge, but also of relaxation as much as possible. So allowing your tissues not to tense up against it. Allowing yourself to be in a place that you can be for, for a while. Let the head drop. For the second part of the class, our affirmation is, I love and accept myself, even though I'm imperfect. I love and accept myself even though I'm imperfect. Take a moment to notice how the muscles around the hips are feeling, if there's any tension, allowing them to soften.
Not much longer here, just take two more deep breaths. On your next breath in, take yourself up to the hands if you're on the forearms or remove the blocks if you are on the blocks. Bring that foot back flat to the ground and walk it to center in between the hands. And if you want to, you can return to child's pose or take a downward facing dog as a counter pose. So tuck your toes if you want to take downward dog and step back in any way that feels comfortable for you. You can start from all fours Take a moment to pedal the feet, bend one knee at a time. And drop the knees back down to the ground or come up from the heels if you're in child's pose and step the left foot in between the blocks or in between the hands. Same thing here, adjust to the height that you need untuck your back toes and make sure you can soften the hips and maybe walk that left foot this time out to the side being up on the hands on blocks or down to the forearms your choice same amount of time on this side trying to relax the hips let the head drop heavy And maybe if we feel uncomfortable in this posture, of course, never feel pain. But if you feel uncomfortable, can you find a way to accept where your body is today? Can you find the sense of empowerment even in such a challenging posture? And remind yourself of the affirmation, I love and accept myself even though I'm imperfect. Two more deep breaths on this side as well. On your next inhale, make your way up onto the hands or off the blocks. Take the foot back to center and heel toe. Tuck your toes if you want to take downward facing dog. Maybe shift the hips back first. You can go through all fours and then come up onto your downward facing dog. And notice any difference now we've done both sides. Again, pedal the feet, bend one knee at a time. You may want to drop the hips from side, drop the heels from side to side, move the hips from side to side. And taking ourselves back down onto the knees and into child's pose to finish. Take your big toes together, knees as wide as you want. And sit back towards the heels or on the block. Let the arms be soft. And you can have the forehead even onto the hands. Allow yourself space to breathe.
Take a moment to remind yourself of that quality that you appreciate about yourself. And return to it whenever you feel you feel down or not so good about yourself. You can be here in child's pose for as long as you need to, if you need a rest, if you need to switch off. Maybe you can come to your back and take a Shavasana. I hope this helped. I hope you feel great. And I will see you again soon in one of my next videos. Thank you very much.